All right, real quick, it's yours truly, Mr. Telefera. Before the video starts, it will mean the world to me if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram. That's how my business grows. At is Mr. Telefera on your screen right now. When you follow and subscribe to me, you become one of the pharaohs. That's how I talk business, and that's how you support a young hustler out here getting it. All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing? So, there are more details emerging about Kevin Hart's former friend, Jonathan Todd Action Jackson. Now, I did relay the message to you guys yesterday that this was not a random act of, I'm trying to come up off this actor that I caught slipping. No, there were layers to this. There were levels to this, all right? So, for those who don't know, Kevin Hart found out yesterday that his friend, a longtime friend of his, that he even helped get movie roles, again, named Action Jackson, was actually the person behind um, the extortion attempt, and he has since been charged with two charges, I believe, and this Jonathan Jackson guy is now facing up to four years. He's currently incarcerated. He had a court date set for this week, but they're going to push it back uh, until the end of the month. Kevin Hart found out that this guy was the guy that was trying to extort him all along. Now, I did tell you guys yesterday, I was like, yo, the chick that Kevin Hart cheated on his wife and Nico with was like, she's a victim in this too. She had nothing to do with this extortion attempt. She didn't know how this happened. She just enjoyed having sex with Kevin Hart. And I'm pretty sure Kevin Hart might have threw her something on the side. You know what I mean? I still don't know if she had any involvement in this, but I can tell you there is a possibility that this this guy, Jonathan Jackson, might have found the tapes on a market somewhere or was given the tapes by someone. So we still don't know just how the tapes were recorded, but we do know more information about Jonathan Jackson. Now, he was present at Kevin Hart's bachelor party. You would imagine with the level of fame that Kevin Hart has, his bachelor party might be a pretty intimate setting. This guy was one of the people there. He was a professional bowler with a net worth of $3,000. Now, to put in perspective, the professional bowler connection, I believe, don't quote me on this, I believe Kevin Hart's brother is actually a professional bowler. I found this out a while back. So maybe somehow don't, along the lines, Kevin Hart and this guy linked through Kevin Hart's brother. Um, we also found out that he's a close friend to Shamar Moore. Uh, Shamar Moore is a, a, the black actor that was previously on Criminal Minds, did a lot of films in his day. He's very close to Shamar Moore. And we also see our first sign of some possible jealousy, and I'm pretty sure uh, this might be used against Action Jackson legally. Back in 2016, Jackson went on a long, lengthy rant, and I'm going to summarize it here, where I guess he was tired of people hitting him up about Kevin Hart, how can they get in contact with Kevin Hart. So Jackson wrote on his Instagram account on a post. He was like, so please stop asking me, flooding me, uh, my DMs, text messages and Facebook messages with dumbass messages like how's Kev's schedule looking for next month. I love him to death, but him and I are just friends and in, I am in no way, shape or form the middleman. Again, that's minimal, but maybe that's the first sign of some jealousy happening on Action Jackson's side. Look, man, this is a very disappointing uh, story. The fact that Kev Hart has to find out that this was not an act, a random act of somebody trying to come up, but this was a friend of his, right? Kevin Hart was on his Twitter account yesterday, obviously torn up about it. He said, my mind blown. I'm hurt at a loss for words and simply uh, in complete disbelief at this moment. There was a $100,000 bond recommended for Action Jackson. Um, again, he's facing up to four years. If convicted with one count of attempted extortion and one count of extortion by threatening letter. Very sad situation. Y'all talk to me in the comment box below. What's the dirtiest thing one of your friends then did to you? All right, I want to hear in the comment section. How have you lost one of your closest friends? And obviously, please talk to me about the Kevin Hart and Action Jackson situation. This dude had a net worth of $3,000. Here's the, the sucky part in all this, right? Kev Hart is the king of giving people money. He said, any of my friends, I don't want to give him a job. I'd rather throw him some money. So I don't think he would have gave you what was reported, which was $20 million, what the guy was asking from Kev Hart. But, bro, he would have thrown you something, right? That just tells me either Kevin Hart then loaned this dude money in the past. I'm just speculating here. Or this dude was more obsessed with ending Kevin Hart more than he was a financial come up when you do something like that 
And, and, and we're not trying to uh, immune Kevin Hart from cheating by any means. But you got to know you're coming from Ke for Kevin Hart's career, his family, everything that means the most to him by doing this extortion attempt. That's way deeper than financial resources. Thank you for the time of support. Get active in my comment section again. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that great stuff. At it's Mr. Delapetto. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah!